Of the, the uh, action the governor took, effectively the polls were closed today as a result of the directive that I issue, which is a legally binding directive to the boards of elections. Uh, I've told them that the election day will be June 2nd. I've told them that they are not to tabulate results tonight because certainly you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube on something like that. And so uh, the boards of elections are following my guidance as they should. Uh, we anticipate that there'll be litigation on this. Uh, there's also obviously always the always possibility of the legislature acting. That's their prerogative to do and, and as long as that uh, legally enacted legislation sets the date of the election, if that's what the legislature chooses to do, then, uh, then we would respect that as well. So uh, the directions that I've made to the boards of elections are clear, uh, concise. People of Ohio understand the procedure that I laid out. And so that means June 2nd is election day now. And that means that between now and June 2nd, there will be opportunities for vote, vote by mail. Now, I was clear with the boards of, direction, uh, boards of elections under my directive that they are to hold those ballots aside uh, because obviously there could be litigation. So we need to be able to put those in a separate box. They're under double lock and key and the safes within the boards of elections. Not an unusual procedure, by the way. That's something that they understand because unfortunately there's a history of litigation surrounding elections. And so we know uh, to be ready for that kind of thing. The boards of elections are patriotic, dedicated people from both parties. Uh, they are, as we speak, uh, doing exactly what they've been told to do and they're doing a great job. Some people have asked 